everyone it's Adriana from Adriana's Paper Crafts. I'm going to give you guys a tutorial today on how to make a chip bag using Be Funky. Um, it is just a Be Funky tutorial though just to kind of get you more used to that program so of course you can use it for other things besides making chip bags. Um, first things first if you guys haven't hit up my website yet for the free templates that I offer definitely go do so. Just head over to adrianaspapercrafts.com you'll click on design innovators at the top of the page you can visit my website using a computer um, your tablet phone mobile device whatever it is that you have uh, you can see some of my newest templates here however if you click on free up here you will be able to see everything that I currently offer for free I do also offer craft tips, different resources, small business tips, as well as a couple of things that you can purchase from me, such as digital paper packs. So these are just a couple of things that you will find on my website. I hope you guys really enjoy everything I have to offer. Anything that you can think of that you would like for me to put on my website, definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, let's get started. First things first, head over to BeFunky.com. That is B-E-F-U-N-K-Y.com. Um, it is a free online program. That means you don't have to download anything to your computer. However, um, for certain really more advanced parts of BeFunky, you do have to um, sign up for their program, meaning you would have to pay so uh, today all we're focusing on is all the free stuff okay so go ahead and click on to get started and you're going to click on create a design so for today's example I wanted to create a chip pad just because I feel like it's going to um, allow us to really see all the different things that we can do with be funky um, one of my past videos, it's the video where I give you guys tons of resources on how to design stuff using all free programs. I actually used Be Funky to create an invitation. So again, that's just one example. Now what you see here on your screen is all of the different templates that they offer. Anything that you see with one of these little gold stars means that you would have to pay for that. So um, again, just keep that in mind. Even though it looks like you have tons of options available to you, um, it would be somewhat limited. So for this chip bag, I want you to go up to blank canvas up here at the top. And then you can either type in the pixels that you want your size to be, or you can just scroll down to the print options and you will click on the letter size paper since a chip bag is eight and a half by 11. What I want you to do first is to go ahead and turn your design because as we all know, our chip bags are not up and down like this, they are sideways. So to do that, you would go up to customize over here on your left hand side, you would resize your template, and then just click these two arrows you see here to switch the size. Hit resize and it basically flips your sheet. So, um, Be Funky is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what your different menu items are. Starting with the very first one, it is your image manager. It's just how you upload pictures. The next menu item is customize. The next one is templates. So you can actually click on search templates and again, it would just bring up those templates that we were looking at earlier can search by whatever it is that you're working on. The next menu option is graphics. It has basic shapes and then you can also upload graphics or you can search for some free graphics. Again, a lot of it is limited, but there are a few options that are free. And then the last menu option is text. And that is of course where you would just click on add text and start typing away. So in order to start off with your chip bag, I want you to first go and grab, if you have not already, my chip bag template. Again, it is absolutely free and it will download to your device. So you would go ahead and download that and then on Be Funky, you would click 
upload from your computer. So once you go ahead and select your file, it's going to pop up over here. You can either drag it or double click it, but I do prefer to drag anything that's going to be kind of like a pattern in a way. And I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean. Um, as you can see, it did not take up my entire page. And just looking all over the screen, you can see that there is nowhere where you can type in the size that you want it to be. Um, that's why I love Photoshop because I can actually type in the measurements. Um, but websites like Be Funky or Pick Monkey don't actually allow you to do that. So you will have to do it yourself. Um, I want you to go and put it up to the top of your canvas. As you can kind of see here, it kind of locks into place there, kind of clicks. So I want you to do that. Just move it all the way to the corner until you kind of see it click a little bit. And then stretch it all the way out until you see it click again. So, as you can see, there is no open space anywhere. We have aligned our template. Now, if for some reason you are not seeing these like blue lines, your alignment lines, um, you'll just have to come down here to alignment. And I want you to make sure that under snapping it says enabled. Okay? All right. So normally, um, the way that I usually go about creating my chip bag designs is I instantly go and start filling out these, um, like this main part of the front of the bag, my top border, and all that stuff. So go over to graphics. And as you can see in your basic shapes, they have a rectangle or a square. Um, it's labeled rectangle, but it's a square, so that's really weird. But <laughs> go ahead and click that and drag it over to where you want it to go. I'm going to change the color real quick just so you guys can see the box, but you don't, of course, have to change the color. So with my alignment still on, it's pretty easy to align it to any lines that I want it to stick to. So I'm just going to go ahead and basically put a box over each rectangle of this template. All right. I'm going to do another one right here and again I'm going to change the color just so again you can see what I'm doing and you'll just resize it all right and basically I would do that with every part of this chip bag so that's what I'm going to do real quick Quick tip, what you can do to kind of make this process go faster is click on this shape here. You click on this duplicate option over here on your left hand side. So it'll basically just make a second one and you can just drag it over there. Same goes for your front, for your top border and your bottom border. All right, so I have gone ahead and put a box over every part of my chip bag. And then what I normally start doing after that is if I don't want it to be a solid color, I will then fill it with a pattern. So to do that, on Be Funky, you'll go up to Image Manager, click on Computer. You can then click on whatever pattern, image, um, etc. it is that you're using. I'm going to go to my patterns here. I don't have any specific idea for what kind of chip bag I am creating today, so it may end up looking a hot mess, but really it's just for you guys to get a general idea of how to use Be Funky. so just bear with me. Alright, so this, I do want you to drag and drop this, and if you kind of hover over the specific box you want it to go into, it will turn into a pattern instead of staying that one color. There you go. Now, the only thing I don't like about this part is that, unlike Photoshop, you can't zoom your pattern in or out, uh, meaning you can't make it any bigger or smaller. Um, it just, it fills it however it, it fills it. Um, I don't know if that really makes any sense, but 
Um, if you've seen some of my Photoshop tutorials, you have seen that when I upload a pattern, I can kind of zoom out of it or I can zoom in and that pattern will look bigger or smaller. But with Be Funky, you can't really change that, but at least it comes with a great quality. So there's that going for you. So if you wanted to match one side to the other, you could again just kind of duplicate that or you could drag and drop your pattern again either way so you're just going to do the same with every different portion of your uh, template just depending on how you want your design to look so I'm just going to throw in a couple of quick patterns just for you to get the idea Okay, so as you can see, I have filled every part that um, would be able to be seen once it's printed. Um, again, <laughs> my design, I'm not actually going for anything, so if it looks a hot mess, it's just, <laughs> just for the sake of this video. So from there, normally I would then start inserting uh, my nutrition facts label, my barcode, my my business logos. I would also type in any words that the customer asked me to type in. So to insert any specific images, you're just going to keep using your image manager or you can also go to graphics and then either search graphics. But again, like I said, it's kind of limited. So I would suggest you upload your own. Um, you could just click on computer. And then again, just upload whatever it is that you want to upload. Now, with this, I do suggest that whatever clip art you're using already comes with um, a transparent background because it's, from what I've seen, Be Funky does not have anything that will allow you to um, remove the background, at least not while I'm in this graphic design um Part of it. I'm sure if you were to go and click on edit photo at the very beginning stage, you would be able to remove a background. But um, in this stage, I was not able to remove every, anything, at least not for free. So I would suggest that you make sure that your clip art background is already transparent. Okay. So like this one, you can see it is not, oops, it is not transparent because the background on it is white. All right, so again, I'm trying to stick to just all the free stuff. I would delete this and then uh, find some other way to either make that image transparent or use a different clip art. So I'm going to go ahead and just for now insert something else. You can either drag and drop it or a quicker way for clip art is to just right click it and then add as layer and then resize that. Now that is obviously not a high quality image and what I talk about with you guys a lot of my videos is to always make sure you're using high quality images. Um, just make sure that you're really putting in the best work possible, especially if someone is paying you for your work. You don't want to give them anything that comes with blurriness or um, any kind of just fuzziness like this. Like this is awful. I would hope that you guys would never want to sell anything like this. Um, but again, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to use this. As you can see, the screen is changing colors, and that's because I have my um, my snap on for my alignment. So that is just helping me see if it's like dead center or, you know, things like that. All right. So then if I wanted to add text, I would go over to the left-hand side where it says text. Click Add Text. You can then just put... Um, Welcome, baby girl. All right. So then to mess with the font, the coloring, all of that stuff, you can come over here to your text properties box. Um, I like to align my wording to the center. You can change the color here. We could do a little bit of pink. Okay, so you can either use the fonts that are provided to you here. Or if you wanted to upload your own fonts, you would have to upgrade. So that is an option for you, but again, it just is not free. All right, so just scroll through the different font options, which honestly, for the free version, it has a lot. So, uh, so does PicMonkey. I really love their font options. So you can click on one that you like, just play around with it. 
and then um, you can exit out of that and you can actually play around with the spacing such as the letter spacing or even the line height. So those are those really cool options that BeFunky offers for free. You can also bold it, make it italic, you can underscore it. Um, background here would just change the background of the entire text space. So I'm going to click on this transparent option. You can add an outline, which is pretty cool. I think PicMonkey only recently um, added on the outline option, so I think it's really, really cool that Be Funky has that. And if you want to change the thickness of this outline, you would just click on here and you can increase that. And then highlight is just the highlight right behind the text itself, which again, I would not do that. So I would click transparent. All right, and then if you ever want to just see what else they have, um, you can click on options, different blend modes means that you would be adding like a, um, a pattern on top of the font, which you can totally do that. You can flip your wording and you can align it in different ways. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and undo all of this that I just did, which is down here at the bottom right. You can undo. All right, if you ever wanted to reset anything, you would hit on reset. If you want to see your history, you would click on history. And if you want to redo something, you just click on redo. So this is obviously not a wonderful chip bag, <laughs> but you guys get the idea. Um, again, like I said, I normally would insert my nutrition label and my barcode and all that. You would just keep doing that by going to graphics and uh, hitting computer and then uploading stuff. If you wanted to search the Be Funky graphics, you would click search graphics. You would click on the free image that you want. Let's just click on this little car for no random reason. Click on it once and then just hit the X button. You would see it pop up right over here. And then you would just drag it over to wherever it is that you want it to go. Or you could also double click it and then resize it, of course. All right, so what a wonderful chip bag, right, you guys? <laughs> I really hope this tutorial helps some of you guys. Um, if it was helpful, be sure to let me know. If there's something else you want to know about Be Funky as far as um, creating designs, go ahead and just ask me down below and I will get back to you. Um, I hope you guys have learned by now that I do read the comments and I do try to get back to every single one of you. Um, and I will be linking everything below as far as where to get my free templates, our Facebook group, and all of my social media. So I hope to see you guys around. Bye, guys.